It is time for another theme park coasting top 10 video where we count down the top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down the top 10 rides at Adventure World Australia. Starting off at number 10 we have Sea Serpent and even though some people wouldn't clarify this as a ride personally I think that this one and the other slides on the list are must do's at the park and with it also being included with the admission to the park we decided to add the slides to the ride list. Sea Serpent is a racing dinghy ride in the nautica land of the park and once you make it to the top you will decide whether you are on Team Blue or Orange Sea Serpent. Choose carefully though as only one serpent will win the race full of many fast twists, turns, drops and tunnel sections so the question is are you on team blue or orange? For our number 9 position we are going to be heading on to in my opinion one of the most intense slides that I have ever been on. This is Wahoo Speed Slides. But trust me when I say the majority of guests since its opening in 1986 have been saying more ah than wahoo on this attraction as despite from first sight this slide seeming quite basic after heading over the hills and down its 66 kilometers per hour drops making you literally bounce through the air before the final splashdown. If you have a need for speed, Wahoo Speed Slides is perfect for you. If lying on your back down a slide is too boring, then you would love our number 8 spot, Tidal Wave, as instead of going down on your back, you can grab a mat and head down forwards. Just warning you in advance though, watch out for the end when you meet the water as you are going to find out where the name Tidal Wave came from. In addition to this, out of all the slides on the list, this is the best one for a race, as with its six lanes full of many bumps and the scoreboard at the bottom, for anyone thinking that they are the best slider, here is your chance to prove it. It is time for our first coaster on the list as at number 7 we have the most raw awesome ride at the park. This is the Dragon Express. Now as a quick disclaimer these people on the ride are wearing clothes. It's just that due to the park also being a water park as well as a theme park you don't need to change in between each attraction. This family coaster follows a pretty basic layout consisting of a small 13 feet drop, helix, airtime hill as well as a bank turn. But with it also having a cute dragon theming and the car which looks totally awesome. It is great for all of those younger guests or coaster enthusiasts like myself wanting to claim another credit. Here we are at the number 6 spot and actually our number 1 water slide at the park. Kraken. Costing over seven million dollars, this costs the park a lot of money. However, over here on Theme Park Coasting, we think that it was totally worth it, and here's why. Firstly, this is the longest, steepest, and tallest funnel slide on the planet, dropping 20 meters along the 260 meters track. In addition to this, there is 150 meters of dark twists and turns and the 60 foot funnel section. If this doesn't sell it to you yet, then I don't know what will. Maybe the fact that on top of this you also reach speeds up to 6.7 meters per second and experience some moments of zero G gravity like you have never before. How cool is that? A quick tip from us though is that if you do want to ride this slide, which I presume you would, you can expect very long queues with its max input of 600 riders per hour, so make sure to get to Kraken as soon as you get to the park. Top 5 whoop whoop, and coming in for this spot we have Rampage 
and if I was you, I probably wouldn't get on the wrong side of the mighty Minotaur. Once boarded, get ready for an experience that you have never seen before. In a nutshell, your gondola is rotating 360 degrees, while the two arms connecting to this gondola is also going all over the place providing a lot of spinning as well as hang time just like the majority of Huss top spins that we have been on. However, halfway through this ride gets 10 times better as the arm on the left rises while the one on the right drops and vice versa which even though looking like the ride is broken down just makes the experience just miles better and for that reason Rampage is at the number 5 spot. If you are scared of heights skip to number 3 as at the number 4 position things are about to turn Inferno with Inferno. Standing at 52 meters tall if it was a normal drop tower it would be scary but hopefully by now you have realised that Adventure World does not have normal rides and this is no exception making it not just scary but terrifying for park guests as instead of rising up and then just dropping down on this attraction you will shoot up to the top providing some great views of not only the park but the surrounding area before dropping a little shooting up again and so on for around a minute this is such a great experience and as long as you are not faint of hearted after riding the inferno's 1.2 g's you will be on fire who here is scared of spiders well probably not the majority of australians are watching this video but i sure am however what i do love is black widow theme towards Black Widow. On this attraction you will jump aboard one of the six spider legs and from this point onwards get ready for sick bags as it is about to go crazy. Basically the best way to describe what happens is your seat and the one next to you can spin completely. This is then connected to a central point which also spins which is then connected to an arm that both spins and lifts up and down so yeah there's a lot of spinning and maybe I would rather see a black widow then be entangled in its 57 feet web and have my adrenaline pumped to the limit. Between number two and number one it was tough but we decided to put Goliath the park's pendulum ride at the number two. Surprisingly, this is one of the first normal rides on the list. So if you haven't got a lot of time at the park and you have already done a pendulum ride before, we would recommend doing the more unique attractions first. However, if you get a chance at all on your trip to ride Goliath, take it as the thrills of swinging 17.8 meters per second and the angles of up to 120 degrees will never be forgotten. Off-ride, this may not look too exhilarating, especially compared to Sledgehammer located at Luna Park in Sydney, but it is at number two for a reason as it really does pack a punch. Just be careful though because after riding, you would want to go on this ride again and again. We have made it to the number one position and taking the spot for the best ride at the park has to go to Abius. Now for a park like this you would normally expect a few flat rides as well as maybe a little coaster or two. However this Gerslauer Eurofighter takes a family theme park to the next level. Following pretty much the same layout of a ride at my home park of Fort Park. I can tell you that after riding both of these, it is a must do. Featuring such elements as a 100 foot vertical lift hill, more than a vertical drop, 0G roll, roll over loop, cobra roll and an incline loop, wow that's a lot and well as it also reaching speeds up to 85 miles per hour and g-forces ranging from minus 1.5 to 4.5 
there is a lot of thrills. However, this is just facts. The rider experience though definitely does not disappoint either with the theming located around the attraction as well as it always having short queues. We would 100% recommend a ride on this attraction, so much so that for us a trip to Adventure World Australia would not be complete without a ride on Abius. That is it from our top 10 video today. Obviously you all have your own opinions and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also if you enjoyed the video at the top we have got two videos that we know you will love. And at the bottom there is our Patreon page as well as subscribe button. But with all that said there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coasting and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.